Well, the challenge or focus, we've got the Knight of Coins coming up as your challenge or focus. So this could be an earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone with those traits. Um, the knights are generally 35 or younger. This could be a male or female, though. Um, your challenge could be um, ending a relationship with this person or separating from this person. And it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It could be a friendship. Sometimes the coins people will just come up uh, to indicate work or job. So it could be that you have to leave one job to, to accept another offer. Um, Uru's is here as, as well. So um, yeah, this could be a work goal that you're really going after or that you really, really want. And you wanna leave behind something else that you're doing so that you can start this new job. So it could just be a new opportunity or news of a new opportunity coming in. And you're like, oh my God, I want that. I want that really bad. I really, really want that. <laughs> I need to get this job. Um, so, but need is here. So patience will be, will be necessary. Um, some of you, this could just be saying like, you know, if you're going through a divorce or a separation, it's a, div it's a division of assets and uh, working out who gets what, who's going to, you know, what the child support terms are going to be, that sort of thing. But I feel like for most of you, this is a goal you're going after because you're ready to leave behind what you have been doing for work and um, really pursue this. So um, you're determined in July to either achieve a goal or to make a good impression. If for those, some of you may have already started this gig in June and in July, you're like really doing your best work. You really wanna kind of make sure. Um, you may be waiting for feedback on your work so far um, now, if any of you have lost a job, if you were fired or let go, um, it does seem like you've already got new prospects in July. If something happened in June that you, uh, it, you know, a situation or a job that you were in ended, you've got a new one, a new prospect that you're really excited about. Some of you may be changing careers. Totally. This could be a career shift. Like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm totally going to focus on this because it's better money and it's it's something I'm more interested in. Maybe that's where your skills lie. With Uru's, it's definitely um, something you want pretty badly. But it may take time with need here. Patience is always required with, uh, with need around. I do believe we have Mars retrograde in July. So, at least for part of July. Actually, it may be... Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure, but I think it's retrograde about this four to six weeks, something like that, maybe less. Check your favorite astrologer. I know just enough astrology to get in trouble, but I do know when Mars is retrograde, it's hard to kind of, there may be a lot of things you have to do, but you just may not be able to get them done. You may not be able to get the energy because you, you know, to, to get them done. Force yourself to go after or, or you know, do whatever you need to do in order to, uh, to get the gig, to get the job. In the present energy, we've got the Three of Cups in reverse. So for some of you, this will be whenever you're watching this video in the present going on. But for most of you, it's going to be end of June going into July. This is a reunion that we don't really want. <laughs> So this is like somebody maybe getting back in touch that you never were hoping you'd never hear from again. Um, you know, somebody who hurt you, um, somebody who took advantage of you, um, someone who has disrupted your life, caused a lot of problems for you, um, with, with Hagalas here. Uh, somebody who was deceitful, they pretended, you know, they were two-faced in some way, uh, and cancer got a similar message for their, uh, I think it was their challenge. Um, yeah, this same rune. Someone who, who pretends to be buddy-buddy to your face, but then you find out later they've been saying things about you on social media or behind your back or, you know, or they take your ideas and go to the boss and try to take your the promotion you're going for. Or, yeah, just somebody who's sneaky like that. Sneaky. Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Penelope. Somebody like that, uh, somebody who should not, cannot be trusted. 
And um, so, yeah, maybe somebody popped out of the woodwork uh, in June or, or here at the beginning of July, Pisces, who, who you know, uh, wants to reconnect with you, but, you, you know, in the past, you knew that uh, they always had an ulterior motive or they always like need, wanted to use you for something or take advantage of you in some way. So uh, that could be, um, you know, what you're thinking about here. In uh, this could also be for some of you, a party that you're invited to for someone that like really treated you poorly. And you're like, why would I go to that? Why would I go to your wedding? Or why would I, after what you, after the way you treated me, why would I come to that? Why would you even send me an invite to that? You, you almost feel like for some of you, the invite is a snotty little jab, you know? Uh, so again, it'll be up to all of you individually how you choose to handle this. But I feel like whoever this is, you know that they are, you know, a lying, deceitful person. And, and that is reinforced by your, uh, the help that's going to be available to you, which is the moon. All about things that are hidden, secrets, intuition, clairvoyance, things beyond the veil. When the moon is out, we can only see what's lit by the moon. Everything else is in darkness. When the moon card does come up, I always tell people, be, pay attention around the new moon and full moon in July. There could be significant developments about anything we're talking about here, particularly around the moon phases. And for most people, there usually are. Um, this could be the like help coming up, you know, truths that are being revealed about a group of people, about, um, yeah, people that you have felt opposed by, or maybe you're part of a group opposing another person because maybe this person. So maybe this is a family member who's like really kind of backstabbed a bunch of people in the family, or it's somebody in the friend group that's now kind of been ostracized from the friend group because they were um yeah gossiping not telling the truth taking advantage of people always wanting something for nothing that kind of energy but so a lewis here so this is all about actually positive new beginnings this is uh the sun the rune of the sun so um recognition for your efforts um if you've been unfairly ostracized by a group or you feel like you know um, maybe people thought that you were being catty. Maybe you saw through this person before anybody else were like, that person is not a good person or they're not honest or, you know, they're not telling the truth or I feel like they're two-faced or whatever. You may have said that ages ago because Pisces, you're so intuitive. You're always, almost always going to pick up on that kind of thing before other people. You and Scorpio, you're always going to know <laughs> before everybody else. And yeah, it may sound catty at first, especially if it's somebody new coming into the group. Um, and everybody may be like, oh, you're just so judgmental. You know, you're just that, that's that, that, that. But really, that's your intuition. And they'll figure it out later. But, uh, you know, that may be your what's helping you in July is people are coming back and saying, oh, man, maybe this group ostracized you because you, you know, you didn't like this newer person because you just had a bad feeling. Your intuition was like, stay away, Pisces. And now they're coming back to you in July and saying, oh, you know what? Yeah, you were right about that person because here's what they did to this person and that person. So your intuition, you're going to be getting news was right on about either the, you know, someone else uh, that within the group that has ostracized you because of this or someone that you and other people have like, gotten rid of you know um maybe it's news about a family member that people have you know cut off from or uh, been forced to cut off from and uh everybody's like oh hey now for some of you this could be news that somebody is getting back together with someone that you do not like with the reunion card here like they broke up but now they're going to give it another go. And you're like, oh, man, the best thing you could have done was leave that person. Maybe it's this earth sign. For some of you, maybe it's the earth, you know, the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo person. And you're like, oh, my God, why would you why would you get back with that person? Or why would you, you know, because now you're, I'm not going to be able to talk to you anymore because they're so possessive or they're so toxic and they won't let you have connections with other people or, 
you know, or maybe it is one of those things where like your friend is with that person and then they don't hang out with their friends anymore. You know, there are a lot of people like that. Once they get in a couple, they don't talk to their friends anymore. It's like, oh, I don't have time for all of you, which is really unhealthy. Um, maybe that's what it is for some of you. Um, for others of you, it could just be the whole family saying, we're not going to this wedding or we're not going to the, we all got invited to this thing and we don't want to see this person again. I don't know why they would invite us to this. <laughs> I feel like for most of you, you're not alone with whatever this feeling is. I, I feel like because it's coming up as a help to you, whatever was hidden is coming out and whoever was, whoever didn't know what was up is finding out what's up and they may be coming back and telling you Pisces like, hey, did you hear about this? Or you were right about that. Now, what must be accepted about July? We've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. So yeah, messages, news, it's going to be slow coming, but you've got Munio and Yara indicating uh, joy at the efforts that you've put into something. So I do feel like there's progress or there's an like an end in sight. It just may be like, okay, you got the job, but you're not going to start until August with the eight here. Um, or, you know, it's good. This, this, this will be a long term again. This is a slow night. He's the slowest night in the deck, but he's stable. It's steady. It's stability. Um, but yeah, you may have to get through July before you are able to do that for some of you. For others of you, it may start, but it, it may just be like, I'm, you know, you're raring to go, but you have to kind of wait until somebody gets back from vacation or there's some sort of delay with the, uh, with the eight of wands in reverse. Um, this could also mean though that bad news that you're getting about someone else. Again, someone who really kind of took you for a ride or who hurt you, took advantage of you in some way. Bad news about them brings you joy. <laughs> Cause karma. Yara is a karmic rune. It's all about, you know, justice and balance. Reaping what you've sown. Karma essentially, um, getting what one deserves, good and bad, depending on your actions. So I feel like for you, Pisces, you're getting back good because there's no, there's no getting around, Munya. It's all about joy and rejoicing and happiness and, and spending time with people whose company you enjoy and feeling good about your associations. And not that you're wishing ill on someone, but I do feel like for many of you, this is someone that you told, hey, if you get with that person, this is gonna happen. Or I just have a bad feeling about this person. Or I have a bad feeling. I wish you guys wouldn't hang around with this person. I just really get a oogie feeling. And now you're they're coming back and they're and you're just happy that they're getting away from that toxic influence. Um very, very interesting here, Pisces. Um, if you're a single Piscean, you could be meeting someone going to take care of something you have to go take care of, like jury duty, going to renew your license. It, it is like, oh God, I got that letter in the mail with eight of wands in reverse. Oh, I gotta go take care of that. I gotta go renew my license or I gotta go, I gotta go figure something out about my visa or my immigration status or gotta go down to town and talk to somebody about it. You could meet somebody quite interesting in line or the person that's helping you or the lawyer that you're going to talk to to get advice from. There's something about meeting someone going to take care of something you really don't wanna deal with or going to do something you really don't want to do, but you just got to do it. There's a deadline and you got to go take care of it. So it's like, it's almost like the bad news is just to get you where you need to be to bring some joy here. Um, the outcome of July, we've got the 10 of wands. So this is a lot of work. So I do feel like for many of you, you will be starting this job before the end of July. Um, you know, maybe some of you are just like, oh God, I need money now because I already, I lost this other job and I've been out of work for a little bit and I really need to get started. For others of you, it's just like, I really want to get out of this place. I can't wait. Um, now, some of you, it could be you're giving your notice and they're just like, hey, okay, well, you've got to finish all this stuff up before you leave and we want you to train the new person and you're just like, oh my God, I got all this stuff to do before I can leave this job and move into this new one. 
busy, 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 lots of short distance travel. Um, some of you may be traveling for work. Uh, this new job may require travel or it may be in the travel industry. It may be have so associations with travel and hospitality industries for some of you um, or, or real estate, uh, helping people move, relocate, relocation services of some sort. Uh, could be what the company's overarching purpose is. Uh, some of you may be moving with the Ten of Wands, or you may be helping someone move uh, on top of working, and there's just a lot, a lot of stuff to do. So, um, yeah, if you're looking to make a deal, if you are relocating, trying to move, big shifts and change are ha changes are happening at the end of July. So even if it's kind of delayed by the Mars energy, and I think... I think Mercury goes retrograde at some point too in July. It's like, eh. but this is big shifts and changes happening and they're bringing you joy. And yes, you're busy. You got a lot of irons in the fire. You may be worn out by the end of July, but really slow going. Look for July to be the change with that. As far as big shifts and changes, leaving one job for another, relocation, travel. You may be able to make some travel plans. Maybe you've had to table that for a while. And a lot of Pisceans I know love to travel. So maybe you just haven't had the time or the cash or whatever to do that or to plan a, a trip. But now you may be uh, you may be able to think that. You may be, even be thinking October, going somewhere in October for something. Very cool, Pisces. Very cool. So... It all looks good, just, um, yeah, endings and new beginnings all over the place. And things really picking up speed at the end of July, no matter how kind of slow they are. Um, maybe at the start, things, really, you got way too much to do. It's like I got nothing to do here at the beginning, and at the end I got so many things to do, I don't know how to find the time to do them all. Um, some of you may be buying a new car, too, because I've got... Ingwa is right next to Rido. So you, maybe you, maybe that's what it is for some of you. For some of you, it's a trip that you haven't had the cash for or that you haven't had time to plan. For others of you, it's a car. I haven't had time to look or I haven't had the cash to get together to look for it. And now you do. 